Welcome to episode 60 of Beyond the Brick. I'm Joshua Hanlon, and Matthew is not joining us this week. Uh, he had something else going on, so it'll just be me hosting this week. And I wanted to let you know that this episode of Beyond the Brick is brought to you by Eclipse Graphics. Eclipse Graphics is an authorized dealer of many great companies such as Brick Warriors, Combat Brick, Clone Army Customs, and Cape Madness. They have many high quality products such as the Desert Strike Force, and APOC Drifter minifigs and excellent minifigure accessories. And you can see our guest this week that I will introduce in just uh, a second here has one of their minifigs. So you want to uh, give just a quick testimonial of some of your experience with the Eclipse Graphics minifigs? Oh, they're fantastic. They look like actual minifigures that LEGO would produce. And this one is test subject number one based on the Portal series. I highly okay. recommend it. Very cool, yeah. So, so you heard you heard it from someone who's bought their products right there. He would definitely recommend them, and you can find out all the minifigs and accessories they have to offer at EclipseBricks.com. And we really appreciate their support for the show. Now, I will introduce the guest that you just saw there. His name is Nick Jensen. Uh, he is known on Flickr as Nick Jensen and uh, Nick Nick Brick in some places as well. Uh, you might he, you can find him on Twitter at Nick Brick Builds. He is 19 years old, and his occupation he is uh, product photography and shipping for his parents' clothing company, and he's also a mechanical engineering student. So I really appreciate you coming on with us tonight, Nick. I appreciate you having me. This is awesome. <laughs> and he's uh, also one more thing I wanted to mention. He's a member of Chi Lug, which is the Chicago Lug. Shy Lug. <laughs> Sh Shy Lug. Okay, sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Shy no one Lug. pronounces it right. I don't <laughs> pronounce it right. <laughs> <laughs> and he is jokingly designated as the Sergeant at Arms. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you can see his his badge right there. <laughs> so there, here you have the Sergeant at Arms for Shy Lug. <laughs> Now, uh, we'll start off just as, as we do with all our guests, when you started building with Lego. Um, I started with Duplo. you got to start with Duplo. <laughs> <laughs> the first set I had was uh, some kind of zoo train thing. It was, it was just a zoo train, and I was three when I got it. And when I started getting actual Lego, not Duplo, I started with the city line. I remember having a small police car set. Okay, yep. very cool. So then how did you make the transition from just building to uh, kind of joining the online community and posting your builds on Flickr and Mock Pages? I did not start with Flickr or Mock Pages. Started with good old Lego.com. Okay, <laughs> they, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was on there when they had only six creations you can post at a time. And from there I moved on to Mock Pages where I'm known as Nick Brick um, in 2008. And then I joined Flickr in 2009 only to have photos posted for Creations for Charity that year, but ever since then I just stayed on there because I actually preferred it. I preferred that uh, community. It was a rough start, but I got into it more and uh, got better at building, so I got fewer negative comments on Flickr, so I stayed there. <laughs> Very cool. So have you ever had a dark age then? No, no. <laughs> I worry that I could for uh, I will be um, transferring to another college probably next semester. So I hope I don't have to leave the Lego behind, but it is a possibility. So I'm not looking forward to that possibility. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. I, I think a, no. a lot of people are missing your builds. So of course, <laughs> I, I hope you keep building as long as possible. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> And so speaking of your builds, we'll start discussing some of them here. The first one I wanted to mention was the Halo 4 battle rifle that you made. I believe that's one of your more recent builds. And this is just, I mean, an excellent build. I will actually have to admit I've never played any of the Halo video games before. You're but out. <laughs> I have seen a lot of clip, video clips from them and things like that. So I am somewhat familiar with what goes on in the games and have seen the weapons. And these life-size weapons that you make are just really incredible. The detail you put in them, and I know a lot of them have moving parts and things. So uh, you want to just start off by because a lot, of, a lot of what we will be talking about your builds here are the Halo weapons. So just start us off with what uh, what brings you to just keep building the Lego Halo weapons. Um, because well, 
I've never been allowed to have like Nerf guns or any other kind of gun, so um, that's how I started building guns that I wasn't allowed to, so I made my own. <laughs> 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 and uh, the battle rifle here is from Halo 4, and it's my favorite weapon to use in Halo 4, even though I built this before the game came out and posted it a month before the game came out. There was high-res photos that appeared before it came out, so um, I was able to build off of those. Um, yeah, so I actually have it right here. Oh, very cool. So you can you can see it live and in person right there. There he is holding it. So you want to point out some of your favorite techniques on it? You can maybe take some of the parts out? Um, one for one is the logo back here, the Armory logo. is I, I don't remember who on Flickr... Uh, Oh, wait, it was Agent Who on Flickr who made me make this logo because I almost refused to make it or decided on maybe doing decals, but he said, you, get, you can build it, come on. <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I like the, the front rail on top here. It's probably my favorite part. It's just I don't know why I like the rail on top. It's just something aesthetically I love about the battle rifle. Um. I think that at one point I was able to hold it by the top rail, but I don't want to test it right now. <laughs> we wouldn't want it to fall apart. <laughs> no, bad idea. So uh, working features, I try to put at least one working feature into all my um, bigger gun models. So this one has working trigger and has a removable magazine. Oh, very nice. This is the first model of an assault rifle that I've built that has a full magazine of bullets can show you. It's full of bullets. <laughs> All 36. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it's one of my uh, favorite models and I don't think I'll take it apart, but um, usually I do take apart my models just so I can build the next thing. Even though I have a lot of Lego, I don't have infinite, so... <laughs> Some stuff has to come apart sometime. Sure, sure, that's understandable. But that's really awesome. I appreciate you showing that there. And yeah, I think the the rail is definitely I think one of the cool details on there. So I I think I really like that part as well. Now uh, the next next build I wanted to talk about here was your Halo grenades, and uh, these are another some more of your recent builds as well. And you have these two as well. So that that's very cool. You can show us those. I really like these because you use the Star Wars planets, correct? And yeah, that's exactly what made them uh, come alive. Just mm -hmm. that the planets were big enough to be Halo grenades. If anyone has played Halo, you will know that the grenades are stupidly big. <laughs> <laughs> like, a regular grenade would be, uh, I don't know, uh, two inches in diameter. These are like four. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so... This was the first one I made using the Yavin 4. I just thought it was a perfect color for um, a human frag grenade, and I just built a primer on top of it. So really all the building is the top part and attached to the planet. This one's a little trickier. This one's the plasma grenade. It's, the, it's an alien grenade that sticks to enemies. So much fun to use in the game. <laughs> and this is like the only part that I built on top of it. And it connects... Right there. Um, in one video that I've done for YouTube, I threw this. <laughs> just because you got to throw a Lego grenade if you make one. And uh, it, it didn't explode as much as I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> Those planet sets are pretty tough. <laughs> Disappointing explosion. <laughs> it, it kind of exploded like the primer blew up, but the, the planet did not separate. It, those things are tough. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They are very cool. Now, so how long, I know that's a fair, fairly small build. How long does it take you to do like a small build like that? Um, as long as I have the parts laid out already, scattered around along my floor, it's, uh, it's one day. Okay. Like, okay. start the build in the morning, photograph it at night, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone gets to admire it online. Lots of people admire my stuff and I, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a great following online. I, that's, I, I think that's something great that, that people can, can find all these builds. Uh, something great about the LEGO community as a whole that there's places where people can come together and see all Absolutely. these awesome builders. 
Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I have people that follow me. I, I don't kid myself. I care about the comments, so I'm glad <laughs> you guys enjoy what I do, and if you don't enjoy it, tell me. <laughs> so, yeah. So the next next build I wanted to mention was your, uh, this is a M6C pistol from Halo as well. And so this is you know, similar to the other Halo builds in the, in the color scheme and things, but definitely on a smaller scale. I thought this was very interesting. So you want to tell us a little bit about the build process for this? And do you have this one build as well still? Yep. Okay, you do. Very cool. So this is great. You're getting to see all these builds in person on this show. This is probably the last one you'll see in person, <laughs> except for if we get to some work in progress stuff. All right, so this one is one of my favorites because I like building the Halo pistols. They're just so much fun to build. And I like building small guns, one, so I finish quicker. And two, I just actually like handguns more than, like, uh, rifles and stuff. I think they're cooler. So this one, got a moving slide, and then okay. the magazine comes out. This one's based on the Halo 2 pistol, which, in my opinion, is the worst weapon in all of Halo. <laughs> <laughs> but it just looks so darn good. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, that's the moving parts on that are awesome. I love how you did those. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It scares some people. <laughs> 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 yeah, so... This one is pretty interesting because it can transform into the best pistol of all of Halo. It's got some uh, removable parts, so you can change it into the pistol from Halo 3 ODST. Basically, it's just an extended magazine and a silencer attachment. So we got the new magazine in there. Okay. And here's a silencer attachment. I don't know if you have that image opened. Yes, yes. Do you? Uh, not, not for the silencer, no. But oh, we, we can okay. see it on your screen, so. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm gonna there you go, yeah. The, the silence version. That is very cool. Yeah, I think I like that better than the original. I kind of like it this way, too. It's a little, <laughs> little flimsy, but I think it works. Mm -hmm. Very cool build. So, uh, well, some of the, one of the other builds I wanted to talk about was uh, your Halo... M45 tactical shotgun, and this is the build that uh, you say is your favorite build that you have done over all your builds. You like this one the best, so what makes this one yes. your favorite? Um, yeah, I was working pump action. Come on, <laughs> it's so much. <laughs> it's so much fun if you, as long as it doesn't break, that you can do the clack clack, and then boom, clack clack, ejects a Lego shell out. It, yeah, it's so much fun. Um, I do have it built kind of, <laughs> next to me in pieces and wrapped in bubble wrap from a previous Shilog show. I haven't fixed it yet, and I don't even want to look at it in this condition. It's just, <laughs> it just looks nasty. You want to look at it? Uh, no, no, that's fine. We have a photo of it, so we'll just... Uh, you can you can look at the very nice photo that you have posted online. I like the nice photo better than I like when it's right next to me. <laughs> God, it just looks awful. You do have to make some sacrifices to continue building other awesome builds. I, I think I'll rebuild it for Brickworld as long as it's not in terrible condition. I only half unwrapped it, so I'm worried about what the rest looks like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, one of the things I really liked about this one was the rail on top and the sights that you can actually line them up. It was one of the first I actually made with um, sights that you can line up. And, uh, and of course, the pump action. I like that. And it just feels so comfortable. Even, even though it looks massive, it, it actually is a very nice size. It, it just feels nice. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. And I know you post uh, some of your builds on uh, YouTube, making videos of you showing the different moving parts. Mm -hmm. So ha have you posted a video of this shotgun? It is on my YouTube. Okay. Um, I go by Nick Brick on YouTube. Um, okay. And I'll make sure it, to yeah. throw a link to that in the description of this video so that people can find your YouTube page as well if they have not seen those videos. A lot of cool videos he's made over there. Yep. I, I think I started my YouTube a year ago now, and... I got quite a few subscribers, so there's like a separate community. Like Flickr and YouTube are completely different kinds of people. Most most of YouTube followers are people that don't exactly build Lego or are into Lego, just like what I do. And I think that's kind of cool. They could get two different kinds of communities. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that that's very neat. So then, uh, what what projects do you have planned for the future? Any anything you've got coming up? I got a lot coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, too much to handle. <laughs> um, I will be going to uh, Brick World 2013 Chicago, so I will have a bunch of new builds for that. Um, I have two new Halo guns being uh, worked on, and two more secret creations I can't tell you about. <laughs> I can't even show you any work in progress because they're not around me, and I don't know if I should show them. But, yeah, I got two of my work in progress things right here. Okay. Okay, so we can see these on your screen. That's cool. Yep. This is my work in progress on a Halo 4 bolt shot. It's one of my first uh, alien guns that I'm doing. It's one of the newer guns that they added to Halo 4. The interesting thing about this is that I'm trying to make it um, actually reload in the game. And in the game, to reload the guns, the pieces of it float apart. Like, <laughs> like the whole thing breaks apart, and there's like six pieces floating, and you reload by putting the magazine inside the gun, and then it reassembles over the magazine. So here's what I got for that so far. Oh, wow. Very neat. Yeah, that's interesting. I like... I think I'd seen some diagrams or some some things you had drawn up on your Flickr, maybe, kind of showing how that came apart. Yeah, I had some people help me out with that. Um, Tromas, thank you very much for helping me out. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, I do need some help sometimes with my gun designs, and I appreciate when people do help me out and actually get stuff that works. (laughs) I get some crazy um, suggestions. I don't mean to pick on anybody, but I'll use rubber bands. Okay, how? <laughs> <laughs> I I like it more if someone gives like a working solution or knows what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's always good. You know, there's there's a lot of great builders out there, and there's there's always things you can learn from people. So it's always and good I, to get other people's advice. Yeah. Now, then, wait, hold on, sorry. No, okay, yeah, go <laughs> um, ahead, go ahead. Um, one more that I don't know if I'll have it done before Brickworld, but I recently started. And I posted no, um work in progress shots for got a little bit of a Halo 3 rocket launcher my two top requested guns are the rocket launcher and the Spartan laser and those two are massive over the shoulder weapons (laughs) (laughs) and I can't believe I am actually taking one on so this is like where you would reload it and actually in the back you can see my instructions for it (laughs) my instructions so to speak um, when I make a life-size gun now, I use a life-size printout of a side view to help with all the scaling. It's yeah, it's just pretty much what I use. And then anything else, um, it would be uh, different angles, um, a shot of a character in the game holding it, preferably not uh, Master Chief in the game. He's massive. Preferably a Marine, someone more my size <laughs> holding it. Yeah. Those are what I use for my instructions for bigger guns. Okay, very cool. So, yeah, that's interesting how you see so you just get the whole giant print out there and use that as kind of your diagram, and it's yep. very neat. So many so, people a- ask for a tutorial. There you go. <laughs> Don't ask me for a tutorial anymore. <laughs> that's how he does it. <laughs> that's how I do it. <laughs> Build what I see. So then, have you ever had anyone uh, complain that um, you're making guns out of Lego bricks that, you know, are generally thought of as like a child's toy or anything? I would think uh, maybe some adults or something. Have you ever had any complaints from anyone? No, no one older because they're more mature and they realize other people can have strange hobbies. But (laughs) usually you'll get that from teenagers, high schoolers, people on YouTube. (laughs) Like, you're you're a 19-year-old. Why are you playing with Lego? Why are you making guns with Lego? Go buy a real gun. It's more fun. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Lego. It's more fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can take it apart and you can build any gun with Lego. You can you can only buy one kind of gun. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Besides, Halo guns are not real. You, mm-hmm. you can only get like uh, people making props and what's the difference? People making props with foam or whatever they use. People making it with Lego doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Very good point. Very good point. So that's interesting. 
Now, uh, one other thing I wanted to touch on here was your, you're actually a judge for the mock athlon that's going on right now. And uh, over the last few episodes, we've had uh, some contestants in the mock athlon, but you're actually a judge. You just want to give a quick uh, summary of kind of what uh, any builds you might have seen or just your thoughts so far on the mock athlon. Uh, there's so much judging, and I'm a little bit behind on judging that I don't remember any creations off the top of my head that I can think of that were great. I know there were great ones <laughs> because I'm surprised that I've given out any fives. A five is a perfect score. I'm surprised I gave out any fives at all. Like, okay. Really impressive stuff. And um, yeah, I got to decide some of the categories, and I'm glad some of the builders are doing my categories justice. I'm sure nobody's wondering who made the It's a Me Mario category. <laughs> <laughs> so then, how many judges are there for the Mock Athlon? There are six judges, including myself. Um, there's Chris Phipson, uh, and I don't remember all the others. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Good judges. They know definitely know what they're looking for, and they're definitely very tough. The Mock Athlon is definitely known for tough judging. Yeah, like, uh, I, I wouldn't envy your position, though, with all the amazing builds that are out there. It's definitely got to be hard to judge all those awesome builders. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it It's kind of weird to give a, a good score to someone who you've never heard of. Like, you suddenly find a good builder, and then sometimes a good builder that you know of brings a disappointment. It's, un, it's unfortunate, but it happens. It happens under the pressure. I've been in the mock athlon every year before this one, and it's tough. Okay. Yeah. So how how long has that been going on? Do you know then? Because I'm not um, sure. The, this this mock athlon has been going on since March first, and the mock athlon itself has been going on for three years, I believe. This I believe this is the fourth year of the mock athlon. Okay. Okay. So it's it's a fairly new contest. It's this is the, the yeah, it's fourth year. New, yeah. That's interesting then. So, it's an exciting contest. If you didn't join this year, I recommend joining next year. It's a lot of fun. It's really tough. And if you think you're a good builder, uh, this might change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> and please don't try to contact Nick for any bribes or anything that will help you win the contest. <laughs> we would I'll not free suggest money, that. but I'm not going to change the score. <laughs> We just would not, would not suggest trying to bribe any of the judges in the mock athlon. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> now, uh, what conventions do you think you'll be able to make over the next year? Over the next year, um, anything that Shilug has me do, like any chance that I have to go to a Shilug event, and if it's close, I'm actually like the furthest away of all Shilug members <laughs> to any events, but if it's close and... Yeah, if, if I am free, I'm going to do any Shylog events. And Brickworld 2013, I mentioned that earlier. I'll be at Brickworld Chicago 2013. With all the guns that I show you here, as long as they have not get gun smashed between now and then, which I doubt. <laughs> so hopefully you'll see those and more. Mm -hmm. So we'll be looking forward to that then. So if you can make it to Brickworld Chicago this year, I'll be there as well, interviewing lots of builders for the show so yeah. that will be very cool so i'll definitely have to talk to you there yeah you get to see me again <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully some of you have some new projects that we couldn't show here today by the time brook mm. world comes around i can show you my secret projects <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you get to hold the guns too that would be cool i gotta get a picture of me with some of your with some of your big halo weapons i would it's, definitely like that <laughs> that's something that people always ask me about is uh um why don't we get to hold your guns uh, yes, you can. Just ask. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is ask. Now, now everybody's yep. going to be coming up to you at conventions like, okay, can well, I hold your gun? Ask. Don't just take. <laughs> I've had that happen. People taking nets. That's when things get dropped mm -hmm. and I have to go rebuild. That's if you ask, okay. I'm there to catch it in case it falls. <laughs> that happens. Definitely. So now I'll give listeners a way to contact us real quick. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, you can just email me at joshua at brickpodcast.com and I encourage any feedback you have on the show, any suggestions. Uh, we always love hearing from you, our listeners. And you can follow us on Twitter and Google+. Just search Beyond the Brick. 
And if you uh, don't want to subscribe on YouTube, we encourage you to because it's the best way to keep up with all our content. But you can go oh, to <laughs> emailupdate.brickpodcast.com to get uh, emailed each week with uh, new episodes of the show if you would rather do that and not subscribe on YouTube. Now, uh, Nick, I think to end the interview here, we'll just have you tell us a little bit about how you built your collection and what strategy you've had in mind over the years as you build it up. I'm supposed to have a strategy? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I, you have any strategy at all, you just bought random parts. <laughs> I, when, when I bricklink, I don't do that often. That might surprise some people. Um, I... I usually make big orders and not as frequently, like maybe four BrickLink orders a year. Um, yeah, and usually it's to complete two or three projects at the same time. Like I'll put off finishing a project just so I can get one BrickLink order because I'm cheap on the shipping. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do buy a bunch of Lego sets that I think look cool or if there's a small, it's a small set and then there's a cool part in it, I'll buy it right away. Or... Um, yeah, if a set looks really cool, I might just build it and keep it on display. And as for my collection, it is not sorted. That might surprise some people there. <laughs> it's just a mess. It's a lot of Lego, and it's a mess. <laughs> so then, are you like... I know we've had a, a guest on before that said he just kind of figures the time he spends sorting is about equal to the time he spends looking for pieces. Is that kind of the way you look for, at it? Um half of my building is looking for pieces. I <laughs> should have it sorted, and I tried it once, and I got bored after a week, so... And, mm -hmm. yeah, I just can't... I just can't do it. It's you just work better being with, like... Or, being organized is something I just can't do. <laughs> <laughs> you just work better with clutter kind of around you. <laughs> yep. You want to see my floor? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's as organized as he gets. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a, that's the most organized you'll ever see it. <laughs> Very nice. So I think that's all we have for you tonight. It was great talking to you, and I'm awesome that you could show your builds on the camera like that and talk talk about some of the techniques you use. So I really appreciate you coming on, Nick. Oh, I appreciate you having me. This this is fantastic. <laughs> no problem. And as always, you can find uh, in our our show notes in the description of this video. Uh, the description is below this video if you want to check that out. And you can learn more about Nick at his Flickr page. And I'll put links to all the builds we talked about if you want to check them out more. And you can look over his whole Flickr page to see all the builds he has done. So thanks for watching. And I'd encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube page to keep up with all our latest.